Good afternoon. Welcome to another edition of the Pojo's Coaches Show. I'm Burton Kemp. I'm here with Coach Ron Duncan, S.Q. Roberts behind the camera. Coach, we got something good to talk about. 29-6 over Savannah High. We definitively have a playoff spot, and uh, things are looking up. Yeah, we. Uh, it was good to have you know, have a big crowd uh, on the home stand in the home stands last Friday for homecoming, and uh, got to speak to a lot of. Alumni, you know, from the past, uh, you know, I think Anthony Lonnie came in the locker room before the game and uh, seeing a lot of those old guys come back, that was great. And uh, certainly, certainly uh, proud to get the win. Um, you know, I thought, I thought we played hard and, uh, you know, it, it, it's, it's good to, to, to get this uh, good young bunch on the, on the winning track a little bit. And uh, let's go to offense. We, we sputtered a little early, but we talked about it. In the pregame last week, and we talk about it. And I'm sure some folks get tired of hearing it, but we are young, and we had even younger kids to start that game last week because of injuries. Yeah, we, we started uh, uh, several people uh, that were new last Friday, and, and several in different positions. But uh, and we had we had some scheme issues uh, to get straight up front last week. Uh, you know, we've got a center who's playing who's been a starter this year all year, but at different positions. He's having to play center for the first time. We had a little trouble in the first couple of drives, um, you know, trying to get, try, try, he was blocking play side. He should have been blocking back a little bit. And, and some things like that. There's always little things like that you're always trying to figure out, um, you know, in, in the course of the game. And, and, you know, you're not getting exactly the same front that you always prepare for. Um, usually, you know, they throw a few wrinkles in there, and certainly they did as well. But you know, glad, glad that we got some of that fixed and, um, you know, had a freshman come in after the first series and play left tackle for pretty much the rest of the game. Did a really good job, Aiden Allen. Uh, Jamal Scott, uh, who's been a, who's a sophomore, who's been a backup at, 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 on the offensive line all year. You know, got the start and played well at left guard. And, and uh, really, we didn't have any snap issues with Kevin Booger from, from guard to, to center. And, and um, you know we, we got some blocking things fixed with him, and, and it was good to get Tony Ball back in there. Um, he really had some dominating, uh, uh, dominating performance there at times at, at, right, at right guard, and um, yeah, I think we saw a glimpse of what his future can be. So it, it was great to see that, and and uh, you know Gallon threw some good balls, we caught some passes, and had some chunk plays in the passing game and in the running game, and and uh, certainly uh, glad to see it. And you got a. Sophomore fullback, Rashawn Prescott had a good game. Uh, Abram Hilton probably the best game of his career to this point. Of course, he's missed about half the season, but uh, both of them showed a glimpse of what we're going to see for the next few years. Yeah, you know, AB, we know he's got a lot of potential, and, and he's had a lot on his plate, you know, playing defense, uh, playing at linebacker, and, and, and playing tailback a lot. And uh, it was glad, it was good to see him get going. Um, you know, Brandon Smith came in there at fullback and, and gave us a little spark, running ball and, and especially blocking, uh, you know, without having my on there. And, uh, you know, we, we know what we're going to get from KP every week, and he didn't disappoint. Uh, but, but sir, uh, really glad to, to kind of get, get, get it sort of jail a little bit and, and uh, moving forward here toward the end of the season. And we did a little ball control. Uh, we were talking before. Uh, we started this. I didn't realize it that night, but two real possessions in the second half, a six-minute drive, and then a nine-minute drive that, not ended, that did not end up producing. But you keep the ball for nine minutes, the other team can't score. Yeah, well, you'd like to end with a kick, you know, yeah. being a, an extra point or a punt. It means you didn't turn it over, at least. And um, we had a, a breakdown in our block assignment up front and uh, on, on the I guess it was second, first, first or second down, second whatever, on goal. the second goal from the one, and uh, you know, and tight end supposed to block down. He blocks out, and the linebacker comes right through, really at the mesh, and and smacks our uh, running back right when he's getting the ball and, and turned it over there. Which you hate to see, but uh, you know, it, it was a good opportunity to get a lot of kids in, a lot of younger kids uh, in playing. Um, you know, most of those guys are playing on Thursday nights, and there, there's a big difference between. Thursday night success and Friday night success, and uh, I, I don't think a lot of people really understand that. But uh, you know, it, it, there is a there's a big jump between JV and, and varsity. But to get those guys some some Friday night reps was big, and, and, and glad we got to do it. And let's flip the ball and go defensively. 
Uh, the defense dominated 31 plays that Savannah High ran, 11 of them were incomplete passes, but minus 16 yards uh, rushing, four first downs, uh, so I think 71 total yards, 55 of them came on the last snap of the game. Yeah, you know, our, our defense has played hard all year, and, and uh, really glad to see them get, get something for it, you know, and, and uh, but, but I think that gives you a glimpse of what we can become. I, you know, we were able to run a lot of our scheme, you know, with, with, the, with the offense formations and sets we've been getting the last, it seems like all year almost, it's been difficult to, route, to really run your base offense, and, and I mean defense, excuse me, and, and be able to line up and play things that you, you work on in preseason that really have kind of gone by the wayside with just because of, like I said, what you're seeing with two tight end sets with three backs. And, uh, but, but to be able to, to play you know, what we used to play, uh, you know, see every week was good and, and um, really glad to, to see the success. A lot of young guys making plays there, which we talk about all year, but um, you know, had, had really had a couple interceptions and, um, and, and a lot of pressure on the quarterback and were able to blitz and show some pressures and back out. So really we, should, we were able to do a lot of our stuff. Did we play pretty standard? Did we come? Did we blitz a lot? No, we, we blitz. We pressured, and it, you know you're you're going to pressure some. Uh, you know when the other team doesn't have a tight end and, and, and maybe limited in their protection, uh, you, you're going to be able to pressure some. And uh, we we were fortunate that we were able to do that, um, especially when when you know it's, it's easy to pin your beer, ears back too when when there's not a whole lot of, of, of answers that the other team's going to be able to present that you can't handle and. You know, if we're playing a big time screen team and it's going to throw it on the perimeter or, or get the ball out quick, you know, it might slow your, your pressures down some. But we, we were able to, you know, kind of do a, a little bit of all of it where, you know, where we, we'd show pressure and back out. And then there were times where we wouldn't show it and we would actually pressure. And, and uh, it's fun when it all works and it makes things a lot easier. So uh, certainly glad that, that uh, they got a chance to showcase what they can do. And kind of, Turnaround from the week before against Bryan County, the game was played on our end of the field. Uh, Savannah High never took a snap on our side of the field. That game uh, last week was played on the Savannah High side of the field. Yeah, you know, and we had our opportunities to put it away really early, and and uh, we had a really slow start. We missed some open receivers and and missed some block assignments up front that, that caused us to, to turn it over and. You know, Savannah's played everybody pretty close to the first couple series. They've really come off the ball hard defensively, and for whatever reason, I don't know if it's conditioning or whatever, they kind of slow down, and, and uh, we were able to kind of get control of it after that first quarter. But, you know, that, there, were, there were some you know, three straight possessions. We've got it in a great field position, and we can't turn them into offensive points. It was very frustrating. But uh, it seemed like once we turned it around and, and, and got some, uh, some things going our way and some momentum that we were able to kind of put it away fairly quick. Three second quarter possessions, three touchdowns, so we kind of got to turn and then first possession of the second half, so four straight possessions with touchdowns and kind of had it. Yeah, it, it, it was, uh, you know, you, you want to see how your team responds coming out of halftime too, and that's something that's been a point in this is the last couple of weeks and, you know, our demeanor and, and our concentration, our focus on the game. And, and uh, you know, we went in halftime, you can tell the kids were still kind of dialed in and still focused. and. The, the, the leaders were kind of saying the things that leaders need to say and, and, and the young kids were kind of following through on it. And I didn't hear any celebrating or any, any of that. And, you know, we're trying to teach them how to take care of every little detail and, and uh, I thought they handled that very well uh, last Friday. Coach, we've got some highlights to look at yep. this week. All right. That's a good hit by, I think, Josiah there. I think this is, a, that might have been the first possession a second ago, but I think this is the second possession. Um, it's good when they give you points or you can score defensively. Yeah, I don't know what the odds are, but I think your odds of winning go up tremendously then. Corey there. Yeah, we got to do a little bit better job blocking on the perimeter to start with, but that was a, a great job by Corey. Making some people miss, getting a big first down. I, I thought that was an interception. I had to 
get some clarification on it, but I think they said he never had possession. I don't know how the guy behind him called it, but I'm not really questioning the officials. Right? I can't do that. So, But anyway, that was a good play by Luke Bohannon. It's a good job rallying the secondary when we're blitzing and playing man. Four of their completions were for negative yards. You don't see a lot of that. Well, there's one there. There's uh, one. Just about, yeah, for sure. Five yard loss. Here's another one. Good to see get A B going a little bit. Might have been a twenty two yard run there. And it's always good to get some yards after catch also. Luke got three more PATs, 11 for 14 on the year. It's good for a first year kicker. Yeah. It's a good play by DeMarco. He's made, he's made several of those on special teams this year. He'll hit you out of there. Another loss on a completion. Good job, Bob. I think that's Ryan and, and Luke Bohannon. Good first down run by A.B. Touchdown by K.P. Good job. That was a good job by Gatlin Regan. Good job by right side of our offensive line. No attack for loss for Josiah. Man, he's been such a good surprise. And that's Ryan again, isn't it? Yep. It's a good interception by Ryan there. Just played that well with the Read covers we were running. I'd like to see Dre get that one in the end zone, but it was a good catch. We completed a pass on first down. We got to learn to get out of bounds a little bit, but I think this is the drop first drive of the second half, I believe. Well, we hadn't seen Gatlin's touchdown, have we? No, I think that that was second half, wasn't it? That was the 17 seconds left. Oh, okay. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. They were they were playing. They were doubling to Corey, and and it opened up some things for Ryan, especially underneath. This is the second half. This is the second half. Though. I mean, we missed that touchdown. I, I thought I put it on there. I thought it was coming up. No, that, that's that, that's second quarter. Yeah, that's that's it. This is the second half. Good job, Jalen Kill, pulling around there. And I I I, I think that's it. Coach, it's a lot of fun to look at highlights from a 29-6 win where you had some big plays and a dominating performance by the defense. Yeah, it was fun, and uh, hopefully we can uh, get a few more wins here before the year gets out and uh, get, these, get these guys tasting some playoff success. Hopefully, or getting to the playoffs is a successful year, So, uh, and then when you get there, you want to stick around. So, it's glad to have that box kind of checked, and now we've got to work on CD and that sort of thing. And we got a uh, clash coming up Friday night. We got the pregame show uh, coming up. But right now you've been listening to the Pojo's Coaches Show. I'm Burton Kemp. I'm here with head football coach Ron Duncan. SQ Roberts doing the camera work back there. We'll see you again next week.